Hi, this is your host of Pumpati, and we are here at SAP Safari in Holland. And today we have with us Andreas Welch, VP and Head of Marketing and Solutions of AI at SAP. And it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure to host you today. Uh, before we deep dive into this discussion, since we are here at the event, I would love to hear from you how you are seeing the evolution of AI in this enterprise ERP space. Sure. So, look, AI. Um, offers tremendous opportunities for, for business to, re uh, to enrich their business processes with AI to get better insights and, and better outcomes from, from it. We call this business AI. It's AI built for business. It means it's ready to use on, on day one. It's built on deep industry uh, expertise and knowledge that SAP has combined with the data that is in, in business systems of, of our customers to deliver outcomes that are relevant to them and to their business. And it's built responsibly, so with responsibility, with uh, deep AI ethics built into it from the very beginning. What kind of adoption has been there? I mean, of course, you know, all these tools they use in the, in the early days also, security was using some AI, you know, business yes. intelligence was there. But if you can also know how the much is it evolved over time, when you look back at it, it's like, is it really helping business customers? Their developer time is being saved. Their same skills are becoming more efficient. One example that I'm really excited about is that AI from, from SAP we, uh, is built into the applications our customers use every day. So let me give an, an, an example out of travel and expense. You know, we're here at the, at the conference, and as soon as we're back, it's, it's, it's back to filling in the expense reports. Now, with our solution called SAP Concur, um, where, where we're able to scan the, the, the receipts. You as a traveler are able to scan the, the, the receipts as you receive them, scan them with your mobile phone, upload them to SAP Concur. And in the background, AI already extracts the information from those receipts and pre-populates your travel expenses. So that means by the time you get home, you have a lot, lot less work to do. You don't even need to look for the receipts anymore, right? If, if, if you've lost them previously or something. And that really speeds up that, that process in a very seamless fashion. And that's part of the value we, we bring actually to more than 23,000 customers using this solution today. You did talk about you know, business AI, but if you look at you know, SAP in general, where is AI in your core strategy? What is your AI strategy? And you know, once again, at Sapphire, once again, if there are any announcements that were made which aligns with this strategy. So AI is, is centered to our strategy, right? We, we built it in, into all business applications, um, whether it's in, in ERP, SAP s for hana or it's in, in, in HR, SAP Success Factors, or for procurement, SAP Ariba, AI is built into these business applications to help users be more efficient and, and to be more effective. And it really speaks to that, to the comprehensiveness. So let me give you an example in finance. So take the example of a function called accounts receivable, where your teams receive payments uh, from your customers for open invoices that you have. Um, previously, matching these payments to open invoices so you can balance out your account and make sure it's, it's accounted for correctly has taken a long time. So even when you set up rules, these rules might take a good chunk out of that, that automation work over for you, but they don't cover everything, especially as your business evolves, as you um, onboard new customers, there are challenges to maintaining a static rule framework. So with AI, we're able to match these incoming payments to open invoices very, very quickly and with a high rate of accuracy so that you only need to look at the exceptions in, in that process. If you look at some of the core customers uh, or industries that SAP serve, some of these industries have been around for a very long time, right? And some of these industries are also in the very early stage of digital transformation, cloud adoption. Uh, do you see you know, that you know, they are running into some kind of roadblocks or hurdles when they look at these you know, AI technologies and SAP once again help them to not only onboard them, move forward quickly, or to just help them wherever they are in their journey. I think that's that's where one of the, the beauties of, of the approaches and what our customers tell is that, that it is built in, right? So you don't need to build anything in addition. You don't need to go off and, and, and spin up your, your own environment, get the data, train the model, figure out that your data isn't as, as clean as you thought it would be or as complete as you thought it would be. We take care of that heavy lifting for you so that you can really consume it on day one in the, in the applications you use. We are here at the event, you have a lot of customers. They are also kind of sharing their own stories. Of course, I will not ask you to pick and choose one because they're all your kind of baby. But if there was any specific you know, use case where you thought, oh, this industry was kind of you know, suddenly a leapfrog because of AI. I think there specifically, it's, it's actually about business functions, right? Um, and um, 
for example, the, the Swiss railway company is, is, is using AI from SAP in their accounts receivable uh, management process and is able to automate up to 99% of, of that process now. For them, that's uh, about a million payments a year that they no longer need to assign manually. A, a huge time saving for them. Now let's talk about which is uh, the hottest you know, uh, topic in these days, chat GP and you know, generative yes. AI. Uh, first of all, how you folks are looking at it? Generative AI is part of our um, vision of, of business AI and, and our strategy for, for business AI, right? Like I said, business AI is AI built for business and generative AI is an, an additional and, and new, very capable and powerful technology that helps us realize this. Um, with generative AI in SAP's business applications, we want to help our users and, and customers define the outcome and then have generative AI figure out how to get there. Right? And today we're very excited to announce the first set of six AI scenarios that uh, we're planning to build into SAP's applications. And these, um, or let me give you one example of, of them. For example, um, we've worked with customers in the automotive and manufacturing industry. Imagine uh, you're a large automotive um, company. You have lots of trucks coming to your gate to, to the factory and they deliver parts for the cars that you assemble. Now, your logistics clerk needs, uh, needs to make sure that actually there's the right number and the right type of, of components on that truck that is, has just shown up to, to your gate. And that takes a lot of time, right? Even in just the paperwork, right? the, the goods receipts, the delivery notes. And by combining SAP's document processing with large language models, we're able to extract that information very, very quickly. Uh, we're, we're getting um, up to 70% of accuracy at, at the moment right out of the gate. And the huge advantage there is um, on the back end side, actually, if, if you think back to previous uh, approaches, you would have had to have ten, tens of thousands of documents and examples and annotation and right, to, to, to get to a good data set and, and training set. By combining now document processing with large language models, we're able to completely skip that step and you're able to um, go live on, on day one of this. So we're okay. really excited about the opportunities. And that's just one of many. You mentioned that, you know, that here you talked about six AI scenarios. Can you talk about what are those? Sure, of course. So um, one scenario that we're really excited about is in the area of transportation management. We're combining our document processing capabilities with large language models to help our customers extract information from, document, um, from documents like goods receipts and delivery notes very, very quickly without the need to have training data, which is usually very expensive and cumbersome to obtain. Also in the area of, of HR, you've likely seen our partnership with Microsoft that we have announced today. We will be using um, open, open AI uh, GPT services through Azure and combining them with SAP SuccessFactors recruiting by uh, leveraging the, the GPT technology with the deep data and knowledge that is in, in SuccessFactors. We're able to fine tune the, the, the prompt and, and do prompt engineering to get you very specific and tailored job descriptions. Because as a hiring manager, you know, you take usually something that's that's lying around a, a job description that you've used in, in the past. It's not very specific. It might have changed by combining success factors recruiting data with large language models. We're able to help you and get to a very good and tailored draft very, very quickly. Now, the, the other examples are around um, SAP's digital assistant that we've an announced that we're building into products like SAP Start and uh, Success Factors in our customer experience suite. There, through the help of large language models, we're, we're able to provide a natural language processing capability embedded into the applications that our customers use every day to help them schedule vacation, find out information about their, their purchase orders, and many, many more things. So those are just some of the, the examples that we've announced today. One more thing I want to ask you is that when we look at the adoption is the generative, we are also like governments are getting great, and some of the customers or industries are very sensitive, they are very compliant, you know, they are dealing with some sensitive data. So do you also have some worry, not you essentially, but the customers, when they look at it, it could be ethical, it could be legal, and if yes, how do you also ensure that you still have to know, you know, when you use our technology, you don't have to worry about those aspects? So SAP has actually been one of the first companies as far back as 2018 to define AI guiding principles. And since then, we've, we've uh, also developed a, a binding AI ethics policy, binding in the sense that it applies to every SAP employee in how we work with AI technology, how we build AI um, embedded systems, because we believe that 
responsible AI is at the core and has to be at, at the core of what we're doing. So these same principles apply also to how we approach generative AI. Since we are here, we haven't talked a bit about if we folks made any announcement related to AI. We're super excited because we've actually announced 15 new AI capabilities across SAP's entire business application portfolio. And a large number of them are actually based on generative AI. Can you just give a little game of you know, of course, we cannot go into all the 15, but you know, where you feel, hey, these are important ones. Sure. So the most important ones that we like to, to hit on um, from generative AI actually are in the area of transportation management, where we're able to extract information from delivery notes, goods, receipts, very, very quickly without the need of customers having training data to do that. And also in the area of process management, SAP Signavio suite, where we're integrating large language models to help process owners and, and analysts create new processes and identify the right KPIs for these very, very quickly, saving about 50 to 70, uh, fifty to 60% of time that you would usually need to set this up. And just thank you so much for taking time out today. And of course, give us not only an overview of the announcement you folks made, but also how you are helping customers with AI, generative AI in their journey, not only where they are, but how to take them forward. Thank you for sharing all those insights. And as usual, I would love to chat with you again. So thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure.